Hello and welcome to the second episode in Precision Farming How To. And in this episode we're going to look at how to deal with the pH level. So if we just step onto the field, automatically the first thing that we'll notice is that in the bottom right hand corner you will see Precision Farming and the pH value just under soil. So the soil is loam, the pH value is okay on this field. So on the face of it you think, oh, that doesn't need to be done. But if we go a little bit further down the field, you'll see over there that definitely doesn't need to be done. If we go a little bit further down there, then it's starting to get to silty clay and that does need more lime. So in the standard game it just says needs more lime, so you put more lime on the whole field. Now we need to make sure that the right amount of lime is being spread in the right areas. There's another way to have a look at your lime requirements and your pH levels, your pH levels for your fields, and that's if you go into the map and you tab over to Precision Farming, you'll see just under the main heading there's a subheading and standard when you open it up it comes up as soil types but if you just flick over to the next one that gives you your pH level and on the far right hand side you'll see the different colors for different pH levels so our fields are not looking too bad because they are in this sort of central region and that's where you want it on that on that scale so you don't want it too acidic or too alkaline unless of course a certain product that needs it and then of, of course that would change <laughs> but generally speaking you want a fairly neutral pH level if you go to the main map you will see that that is reflected those colors are reflected on the map and in relation to more or less what the soil analysis said. So you can see it's all looking sort of the yellow to green areas. So not too bad, but there are some areas that do require some attention. So if we get back down to our field, all lime spreaders now come standard with the ability to apply lime at different rates depending on the requirements of the field. So if you look in the control control group on the top left hand side you will see there the pH value lime application and the application rate that is required because it's off the field at zero at this stage. So if we get onto the field We'll see that that now changes and in the mini map it also just shows you how things are going to change as we apply apply the line so let's just zoom out of it and we'll start applying line there we go starting to apply lime you can see in the little mini map that the colors are changing and the required amount of lime is being applied as you can see by the apl application rate in the control group panel on the top left well we don't want to go down there well we'll just apply lime to the rest of the field and then I'll come back to you and show you how it looks in overview. Right so we've finished liming our fields and as you can see down at the bottom there it's all looking pretty good and that's the liming done very very straightforward. I do hope you found this quick little episode informative if you have please like and subscribe 
and we'll catch you in the next one.